Hello YouTube, we're gonna keep this one short and simple. Um, the collection event is here. Um, and I'm, this is, I'm just previewing all the skins here. Um, the Pathfinder skin is cool, I guess. But, you know, it's, it's kind of what we expected. The Ash skin is alright. Like, it's not anything super crazy or super cool. Some of the legendary skins are, are cool, which we'll get to here in a second. Um, but it's, like, it's, it's just ridiculously overpriced like we got to be honest about that right like you know you know 10 bucks for one of, for each of these skins right and i think it's what like six dollars for a pack i might be wrong about that um i didn't check i probably should have but it's it, it doesn't really matter it's still like around like 160 dollars for this entire pack i met a dude in one of the games i played before recording this that he said he sold some of his rust skins so we only had to pay it like five dollars or some shit like that but like it's still like he had to sell his rust skins to get the bloodhound skin which even then it, it's not really worth it you got the hollow sprays and stuff which are all right Does, do we really even care about hollow sprays let's be honest let me know in the comments if, if you care about hollow sprays <laughs> um but here we are at the legendary skins i really like the gibby skin i don't play gibby so i'm not interested in it the revenant skin though which right here I might end up buying this skin just because I love Revenant and I love this is probably my favorite Revenant skin now but it's probably the only thing I'm going to buy from this anniversary event you have the R9 skin which follows the same kind of aesthetic as those as the Bloodhound as the the Gibby and the Revenant skin you have the Watson skin which is all right uh Thunder Kitty um with you know it's it's a cool little vibe and you know, we have the Mirage skin which follows the same kind of aesthetic as the watson skin you know it's it's all right i guess like it's hard for me to be excited about this just because it costs so much the r3 skin there's better legendary r3 skins that you can craft um are ironically i i actually enjoy this bloodhound skin more than the the mythic one i think it's much cooler you have the maggie skin which this is basically just a, a leftover from the dark depths event if i'm for being honest right same with the the bloodhound skin the wingman is an all right one still there's better you know legendaries that you can craft that are just in the regular loot pool you have the valkyrie skin kind of a, a cyber you know cyberized vibe it's all right we have the bangler skin which is you know the same cyber vibe i do like the dreadlocks with the the purple i think that's cool um and then we have the the volt skin which i think is honestly probably one of the coolest skins in in the event um, I'm still gonna rock the reactive one, but here we have the bloodhound skin um, And it, it's upgradable and if you see in the bottom right um, This is what I said in my my thoughts video my last video Where you know do challenges and stuff, but I mean you still have to pay for it I think it would be better if you did challenges to earn it and then have to do challenges like doing damage to To upgrade it, you know, I think or maybe it would be it would be a cool idea to have them upgrade in game you know, have the skin upgrade in game kind of like it does with the reactive skins but here we are to the uh free stuff that you get from the challenges um i do really like this loading screen this this fan art i think that's probably my favorite thing out of this now i wasn't able to zoom in for some reason when i was looking at these uh but that is um fan made uh weapon charm that's fan art um we have you know the hollow sprays that you get which i'm never gonna use just that's just me Rampage skin is actually really cool. I really do like that Rampage skin. We have the We're Better Together. Um, and then you have the R3 skin. The Octane skin towards the end is also really cool. I like that one with the Joker green hair. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the anniversary event in the comments below. <clears throat> I'm kind of disappointed, but... I mean, that's just how it is. You know, leave the video a like if you enjoy the content. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, that's that's really all I have to say. I, I, like I said, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Drink water. I'll see you guys next time.